Hey, Allen Heights, Ocean Gage, whoever's out there watching. Mr. L here coming to you outside on a beautiful day outside Allen Heights Grade School. We're working on a couple different things today. First things first is always safety. Make sure you're in a safe place. What we're going to do today really needs to be done outside. This cannot really be done inside. Um, it's too much that you might break something, might hurt yourself, might hit some someone, things like that. All right. Sneakers are rec highly recommended for this one. I know some of you don't wear shoes at home. Some of you only wear socks. Some of you wear Crocs, Sanooks, flip flops. I recommend sneakers for this one. All right. Make sure mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, whoever you're with, babysitters, friends, parents, whoever you're with, make sure they know you are doing PE and they know where you are doing it. Because if they don't know where you're doing it, they'll be looking for you and that'll be not so good. All right? So make sure they know whoever you're with. Make sure they know you're doing PE and make sure they know you're doing it outside. All right? It's a little breezy today. It's okay. It's a nice breeze, nice cool breeze, a October breeze. So we're going to get some work in. We're going to do some warm-ups first, and then I'll explain what we're going to do. Oh, Mr. L's getting kind of old. So there's a little sun glare, so hopefully you can see me. All right. First one we're going to do, we're just going to jump forwards and backwards. Forwards and backwards, nice and easy. When we do these, remember, there should be daylight between the feet. I don't want them super duper close because people end up getting off balance and falling down, all right? So daylight between the feet, and you're just gonna jump forwards and backwards. Try to stay with me. You can go faster, but I don't want you to go out of control. If you're going out of control, that's not helping you. That's not making you better, all right? So stay in control. If you wanna go faster, you can, but try to stay in control. The minimum I want you to do is stay with me. Right. Just forward and backwards. Forward and backwards. Forward and backwards. You can see my feet. Kind of Thank you. 
neck of a jumping jack. So instead of you, we're not going to use our arms. We're just going to go out, in, out, in, out, in. All right? So we're going to just do that out, in for about 30 seconds. We don't have to use our arms. We're just working on our feet now. We're just working on the base part of the jumping jack. All right? So it's just going to be out, in, out. In. Stay with me. Try your best to keep my pace at least. You can go faster if you like, but don't get out of control as I talked about. All right, nice and easy. Out, in, 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 out, in. Out, in. Woo. All right, stop. My baby, my baby cows are screaming. They're hurting a little bit. All this jumping. All right, those are calves. If you, know, if you didn't know, baby cows are called calves. All right, stretching them out a little. All right, last strengthening one. We're gonna do some lunges. So you're just gonna step forward, straight down, straight up, back. All right, nice easy lunges. Switch legs every time. Try to keep pace with me. I'm not going to go super duper fast. Remember when you do lunges, I'll turn this way. You don't want your knee going in front of your toes. All right. Remember. All right. So here we go. Lunges. And back. Step out. Down. Back. Nice and easy lunges. Just switching feet every time. Not going super fast. You can, again, you can put your hands anywhere you want. As long as it's not on your legs. That is not helping you do a lunge. That is hurting you doing a lunge. Oh, alright. Whew. I'm exhausted, so warm ups are over. Alright. So I know there's some shadows and things, so you, hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to be working here at this yellow cone. Today we're going to be working on punting the football. So again, when we punt or do anything with football, it doesn't have to be a football. It can be anything. It could be a round ball, like a soccer ball, a baseball. Well, I wouldn't kick a baseball. Soccer ball, volleyball, kickball, box ball, bouncy ball, whatever you got. All right, a stuffed animal, a towel anything it doesn't have to be a football but that's just what we're doing today that's what we're going over all right and again I use footballs because I have them but you don't have to use a football at home if you don't have one don't ask anybody to go out and buy you one because you have to do this it's not it's not like that you can practice this skill with any ball or anything you have at home all right when you punt a football when you punt the football, first thing, you want to hold it with two hands, all right? This is a very small one, all right? So it looks, my hands are gigantic, so I can cover the whole ball. When you're punting the football, you want to hold it with two hands. The biggest, the biggest problem boys and girls have when we go to punt the ball is that they toss it. That's extremely hard to time because you have to toss it the same height every single time. All right? So all I want you to do is drop it. All right? Practice dropping it and swinging your foot. Don't kick the ball. Drop it, swing your foot. All right? All you're going to do is step, drop, swing. Nice and easy. All right? Same thing. Kick 
kicking the ball currently. Two hands straight out in front of you, and it's step, drop, swing. All right, that's important to get that rhythm down, to get that feeling of dropping it instead of tossing it. All right, you don't want to toss it because that's very hard to time. If you just drop it, it's much easier for you to get your body in motion, get your body to the ball, get your foot to the ball. All right. When you kick, when you punt the ball, you want to point your foot where you want it to go so it's nice and flat. If you try to punt the ball like this, it's either going to hit your toe and just kind of roll off, it's going to hit here and come back and hit you in the face. So you want to point your toe out so when you swing that leg, the ball's going up in the air. All right? So let's, so now I want you to punt the ball, hold it out, step, drop, kick. All right? That hit a little bit up here. That hit a little bit up on my ankle because I didn't watch where it went. I didn't watch where it went. You have to watch the ball. You have to watch the ball hit your foot. So you hold it out, step, drop, kick. Alright. That one turned a little bit, so I didn't drop it the right way. So it turned a little bit, so I hit it the right way. to try to kick the meat of the ball not the ends some people think they can kick it like this that'll break your toes that is not what you want to do all right so even with something like this all right this is more of like a round football kind of it's very soft same idea step drop kick nice and easy all right Last one. Step, drop, kick. All right. So those are just some simple ways to get better at punting the ball. And again, as you get older, confident in what you're doing, you can swing a little harder and try to really get the ball up in the air. But if you can start at this level with just stepping, dropping, and swinging, getting that rhythm, getting your body in that motion, getting your body ready to kick that ball, and then practice kicking it lightly, kicking it lightly, kicking it lightly, 
and then you start swinging harder and harder and harder, it'll be much easier to do. So if you can, get mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, brother, sister, babysitter, cousins, whoever you're with at home, start close. Practice kicking the, punting the ball back and forth to each other. Practice it. And then back up a little. Challenge yourself. Back up a little. and Maybe you can punt it a little further. And then once you get confident with that, back up again. Maybe you can punt it a little further. All right? Try something new. Make it harder for yourself. Make it fun. Make it a little game. As long as you're practicing the skills, I'll be happy. All right? Stay active.